What time is it? It's peanut butter jelly time. Reaction video time. Reaction video time. Reaction video time. Where you at? There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. So, I've seen trending on Twitter and all that. Because you know I keep up with all that. That it's been going on the big cricket world cup. Well, let me tell you, I don't know nothing about no cricket. I don't know nothing. When I first heard the word cricket, I was like, that's what we call the little bugs outside and they hop around and they make the little the cricket noises. That's what that's what Americans know about cricket. We think they bugs. So I got this video from my friend Rupam because I was asking him about it. I was like, what, Rupam, what? I don't know nothing about this cricket. So he said, sent me this video. It's called Cricket for Americans. And he said, this is how I can learn about it. He said, this teaches me the basics, so I'm about to watch it. Because I need to learn about some crickets, all right? I need to learn about it. So y'all ready to get this started? Have you subscribed? Have you subscribed? Have you followed me on my Instagrams? Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. Now let's go. So you want to know about cricket? Yes. Great. It's an excellent sport enjoyed by billions of people it all over the like world. It looks like baseball game. And the rules are not at all confusing. Ah! Mm. Just kidding. They're pretty confusing. Doug Morton will get back down the end before Chandapool can turn and get so back. He beats this... him back. Chandapool is out. Who's touched the bat first? Who touched have no fear of that. We're in this together and we'll have you knowledgeably sipping tea and spectating at Lords in no time. Okay. Okay, so first of all, let's get one thing out of the way. Despite the shared batting of pitch balls and affinity for standing around in fields of grass, the sport has very little in common with baseball. Oh, all right. Sorry to disappoint. America. See, that's what I said. It looks like baseball. We'll use America's pastime as the starting reference point for convenience sake. Because, well, it's awesome and the two do have some things in common. In oh, baseball, look. The game that is played the within the Cardinals. confines of boundaries that determine whether a hit ball is fair or foul. Mm. But those don't exist in cricket. Oh. Instead, the entirety of the field is in play. They don't got no out of bounds. A large grass oval with a 66-foot long playing area, or pitch, in the oh, middle. Right, Applied to baseball, this setup would have made Carlton Fisk's home run a lot less memorable. No dramatic waving declaring the ball fair at all. Set up on both ends of the pitch, the part in the middle, are what are known as wickets. Wickets are made up of three wooden poles okay. called stumps, which are hammered into the ground and connected on top by two horizontal wooden pieces called All right. bales. All right. Among other things, the wickets are the bowlers, think pitchers, target. But we'll talk more about wickets later. All Cricket right. teams are made up of 11 players. All 11 play the field and all 11 bat most of the time. While cricket has innings, technically, they're very different from the sets of nine innings that most Americans are used to watching. In most types of cricket matches, the type you're most likely to catch on TV at least, the teams bat only once. That's it. Two innings, one time through the batting That's order it. each for all the marbles. But there's a catch, pun intended. Two batters are essentially up at any given time. And each batter, or batsman in cricket ease, continues to hit until they're out. How do batsmen get out? Good question. There are a few different ways. First, if the bowler, again, the pitcher, is able to knock down either a stump or bale on a oh, bold ball. Oh, you gotta, they're trying to knock down those. What? That's all they gotta do is knock the them down. The batter's strike zone is anywhere within their reach. If the ball is pitched beyond the batter's reach or behind the batter in his natural stance at the wicket, mm -hmm. then the pitch is deemed wide. Think like a ball in baseball, okay. and the batting side is given an extra run. This ensures the fielding team bowls towards the batter and is not just chucking the ball in his general direction in order to get through the set okay. number of overs. We'll explain overs in a minute. Second, a batsman is out if a hit ball is caught in the air by the opposing team. Alright, that's the same here. That's the same here. The third way a hitting batsman can get out is where that second batsman comes into play and where cricket gets excited. While one batter, the striking batsman, uh -huh. is being bowled to, the other batter, the non-striking batsman, stands by the wicket on the opposite side of the pitch. Okay. Each time the ball is put into play or hit, both batsmen run to the opposite side of the pitch as many times as possible. Each time they both do so successfully, what? it's a run. If the fielding team is able to throw the ball at the wicket, knocking down a stump or bale, or if it's thrown into the wicket keeper or bowler, who then does the same, before that batsman makes it back to the end the ball was thrown to, then he is out. Now, yes, that all sounds very technical, but it essentially boils down but to they still throwing get the, the ball run? on a stick to get a guy out. They still get the run. Hit him up. 
even with the oh, other yeah. runs that they got. As we said up top, this game is exciting. There are Ooh. even home runs and grand slams. If the striking batsman really puts a charge into the ball, sending it past the outer boundaries of the oval in the air, it's called a six, good for six automatic runs. If the ball hits the ground before bouncing over the barrier, it's a four, which, yes, it is good for four. This run scoring continues through the striking team's batting order, wow. with the field of play flipping and the bowler changing after six bold balls. In cricket terms, that batch of six is called an over. In most one-day matches, a cap okay. of 50 overs is placed on each team, meaning essentially an upper limit of 300 bowls per inning. When a team hits There's that cap, no matter where they are in their batting order There's or with their run math. total, that inning is closed. <laughs> In addition to reaching the set limit of overs, an inning can also end with 10 of the team's 11 batsmen eventually being retired. And the game will end if the second striking team scores enough runs to reach or beat the first team's score. The second team is I'm essentially confused. chasing the first team's score their entire inning. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is cricket. You now know enough to take in all Let's the cricketing see. action your heart desires without feeling like a complete novice. Pretty cool, right? What a break up. Yes? No? Well, hopefully that's an affirmative. But if this is all still too confusing for you, just remember, there's always baseball. A simple game that hinges on a human umpire's arbitrary, often inexplicable calls. The throw, and they got him! No! He called him! An archaic set of unspoken rules. That's true. <laughs> and somehow, even more nuance and room for interpretation than its distant British cousin. Dominguez has a run down going on. Much easier to follow. That way, what an unusual way to turn... I mean, it looks fun. It looks fun, but I'm already still, I'm a little confused still. Like the whole, the numbers thing and the overs, I don't understand. Like, I'm confused about that. How do you get an over? Oh, this is too much. And all that math, all those runs, and you got to add up all that math. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> that's too much. I'm not, probably going to have to watch this over a few times to really get the idea of it. But it looks fun, and I love that there's no outs. Like, you can hit it anywhere up in the place. Did you see that first baseball team that they showed from America? There was It was the Cardinals. It said St. Louis Cardinals. That's my city. That's the t that's the big team of my city, and they're big winners. They always win the, the World Series, and they always do well. So that was my city. So, yeah. But I did. I did think. I was like, this is a lot like baseball, but then it's nothing like baseball. <laughs> it's not only thing like baseball is it hits a ball and the bat ain't even and it's kind of flat and it's crazy how they throw it because they throw it and a lot of times it's like hitting the ground and it comes up they're just trying to get those the wickets look at I know the words they're just trying to get those wickets down look at me I know the words now the cricket words <laughs> well this helps a little bit I'm gonna keep watching some stuff but I've been watching maybe some high I want to watch some like of the games going on and the highlights i know yesterday india played bangladesh and before that pakistan so i want to watch some of those highlights too maybe i'm gonna become a cricket expert at the end of this maybe we'll see <laughs> all right y'all till next time you know what to do thumbs comment subscribe all that bye y'all